Welcome, welcome everybody, Monty here, and today we are going to be playing Forest Village, Life is Feudal, and we are going to be running through the tutorial. Uh, if you'd like after this, we will be jumping into a game of our own to really explore, but today, just the tutorial. Let's check on into it. Now this game is still early access, keep that in mind. I will probably be uh, redoing these when it goes uh, full release. I've been playing it last night, like I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. The game just looks beautiful. There's definitely some bugs and such to work out. Uh, the game's been crashing on me. And, uh, but, uh, but for the most part, the potential is amazing. Like I was saying in my little, like, first life is futile mixed with banished on crack. But let's just straight up go into this. Okay, this is our new village. Looks like three shacks, a warehouse, and a barn. During the next several minutes, hopefully not too long, we're going to go over the basics. Each villager uh, must have a living space where they can eat and get warm during the cold months and have a family. Very nice. If the villager does not have a shelter, they cannot get warm, of course, and they cannot eat, so they're either going to starve or freeze to death. All homeless people are marked with a special icon, which is a little house. It means they're homeless. So let's press the residential building down here on the bottom right. Notice this is very uh, familiar if, if you do play games such as Banished. There are supplies, town information, all that. But right now let's just build the house, do what it's telling us to do. Now I can see that there's areas that are red. That means I can't click it. It even says you cannot build in this area. So let's try to build it right up. Oh, right there. Look at that. That'll work. Very nice, we can even spin around a little bit now. The wonderful, relaxing music in the background. <laughs> now we're gonna select a construction site. We can see the progress bar right here under small house, this green bar. Below that's what we need on the bottom and what we currently have, which is all goose eggs, all zeros. And then here's the warehouse where we've got everything. These are the resources. Do not let this go up to 100% because, of course, it'll fill up and then they've got nowhere to store stuff, so we'll keep an eye on that. So our village overview up here. This is everything we have combined in all of our warehouses and barns and all that. Temperature, weather, time of year, how many types of, you know, the adult, teenage, children, idle, and hungry villagers. Very cool. That's what this is talking about. All the unemployed villagers will start gathering resources. Uh, we need to assign builders to here, so we're just going to boop, boop, just uh, like we should be used to. If not, this is kind of like the professions. Like, everyone's an idol, just a laborer, just a worker. All right, looks like I can even speed up the game. All right, so for the tutorial, it's instead of bringing up the professions tab, make sure you just increase your builders by clicking on the small house here. Uh, I have tried to open up the professions tab, uh, but it's kind of just just follow the tutorial if you're going about. Uh, because if you kind of go against the tutorial, I've crashed it and bugged it out just too many times. So just um, either hit the game in, just just running full speed while early access, or if you do the tutorial, just a tip, make sure you follow the rules. <laughs> so it's talking about how we can speed things up. So let's go ahead and go max speed. Watch them get this small house all built up. It looks like they've got to clear them some things out of the way. So I bet some laborers are going to come pick all those things up and put them all into the warehouse. Now that that's all cleaned up, you can see that they're getting their build on. Progress bar. Things are going well. Let's slow it down a little bit, just at times five. Now that when we select on the constructed house, we can actually see who lives here, how old they are, and what they do. So what is their profession? So that's very handy. And it also is going to show you your inventory. There's nothing now, but this would show like food and firewood and all that good. All the good goods down there. And then it's good to keep in mind there are several types of houses in the game, each of them with their own unique characteristics, dweller amounts, happiness bonus, and worker productivity. In the upper right hand is the mini-map, so you can kind of plan out maybe the directions of where we're going to want to build. Very cool. And in the bottom left, I guess it's just a good note now that this is your news feed, and you can eventually filter this as well. 
But also, here's the no here's another cool thing. Uh, some buildings can be upgraded. So you see this little arrow here? They even put a little green circle around that. Go ahead and click on that. Well, bam! Improved medium-sized living space. Capacity is up. Uh, high pregnancy chance, and then happiness and strength is up. So, if you want the babies, maybe we got to get our upgrade on, and that's what it's wanting us to do. So go ahead and left click here, upgrade. And if, if you feel stuck, make sure you don't need to click uh, OK down here. Sometimes you're trying to click things, and the tutorial's very much guiding you, so it's uh, it locks certain things out. So let's uh, go full speed ahead here, because we need to wait for the improved house version to be built. Now, while I'm doing this, like, let's just look at the sun setting in the background. I have a very strong bloom on. And uh, the game is still being optimized. You don't have control over the grass or other things. Oh, look at this place. It's just amazing looking. Let's get back. Let's get back here before this finishes and I bug things up. <laughs> But the upgrade is on the way. This is looking nice. It's actually adding a whole second level to the home. So you can actually see where those extra bedrooms are going to be very utilized. Now it's saying, hey, you can pause the game. The space bar works as well, by the way. Uh, now we can open the group and general information by pressing this button right here. Now I'm telling you, if you opened the professions tab beforehand, it might get you into some trouble. So just, just don't yet until it tells you to. So right now it's telling you to reset these builders down to zero, which is this little first symbol here. Like the, for example, this is gonna be Fisherman. If you hold the mouse over, it brings a hover of a builder. So you can perform the same actions with any other profession. Right here, right here. Nice little do it all in one spot, okay? But you need to assign two workers again. So let's go ahead and bring those back. We've got four Unemployed, but unemployed isn't terrible. They're just going to be moving stuff around. So all settlers need to eat or they will starve to death. That is a tip of knowledge, my friends. Let's hit the fishing tab like it wants us to do. Very, very first one. And you can hit the R button to rotate. I'm going to move this down just to here. Rotate is the R button, cancel the right click, left click is going to place it. So let's flip this around, find a nice, there we go, something right nice at the end like that. I think that'll do mighty fine. Kabam, there we go, found a spot where it said I can build. Got my right click on, let's play the game like it wants us to, and then we need to wait again until the construction of the Fisherman Lodge is complete. Let's let them full speed ahead times 10. Place those logs, click these, and it's gonna blow your mind when we can really start clicking on people and helping out, but don't do it yet. Let's just wait on the tutorial. Hold on, hold on. We gotta select the fisherman we just built. We've gotta assign fisherman. It makes us assign all three, keep that in mind. Click on the fisherman lodge again as soon as they fill the store with their catch. One of them will carry it to the barn. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and select okay. We're gonna go times five here. Let this fill up. The fish, they're, they're getting their fish on like crazy, like they should. Now the storage is full. One of the fishermen will be going to carry the catch to the barn. All right, see this one that's highlighted? Click on them. Click on them if you can. Morgan, okay. This is the villager window right here. Right here, each villager has a number of characteristics, one of which is age, right here in parentheses. Below are scales of happiness. You can also see the clothing and tool condition. Very nice. Further down, you can see icons. It shows uh, their home and their workplace. So you know that they fish and that they have a home. So that's very nice, okay to take direct control of the settler and manage them directly. Not just view them, manage them. Click on the avatar. This little button here, that's the uh, follow. This is actually the mind blowing button. That's right, I'm looking around WASD. Oh yes, look, let's go. We can look inside the fishing hut. Oh, yep. Smells like fish as you would expect. Look at all the fish right there. We gotta go take our carry, the resources to the barn. 
So you gotta remember, don't drop them yet. That be our warehouse. This be our barn. So let's go inside the barn. Now when we get close to the doorstep, not drop resources, you'll see it hit to interact. In the barn, like interact, see? Do what it says, not what you think. All right, not drop resources, come in here, interact. Boom. She's gonna place those uh, fish down in the barn. And then all you gotta do is hit escape. And uh, Morgan will be on her way. But besides food, you need to collect construction and craftable resources like wood, which is used for construction, and almost every building, of course. Got to get that wood, so now we're clicking on this little shovel and pickaxe. Click on the collect wood button, and now collect a resource in the area. So let's go. That's a nice big tree. We're going to select that one right there, and we're going to go ahead and cancel. And look at this laborer running up here, clicking on it, getting ready to chop it down. Let's click on him. Let's take control, and look at this. Use the horn ability by pressing the one key, which will temporarily speed up the villager. So let's press the one key. Burdoo! And I'm going to actually click mining. Haha! -ha, after we hit escape, because it's telling me to. And what we're going to see is when it is warm, fields are one of the best sources of food. So let's create it. Man, it just throws you right into it. We made our fish. Now we got to go back to food. Now we got to get our fields. Now the good thing about fields, this is a note is you're gonna have to do terraforming in this game. We haven't talked about it yet, but fields can kind of work on a slope. So uh, that's a good thing to keep in mind. And I'm also thinking about how I would like a farm pretty close to town. Uh, but you know what, I think we're gonna, let's do something up here. Let's see if we can do that. So what we need is at least, it looks like a nine by nine. Yeah, let's see nine by nine, it goes green. So let's just start with something small like that. Wait for your builders to construct the field. Like they chop the tree down. We are running low on wood and stone, but we've got a mission. A mission to build a farm under the great oak tree in this beautiful forest village. Look at how it's growing out nicely. And this is just the tutorial. Oh man, I can't wait until we really start building out in this game but Monty back to the point times 10 let's get this farm built ba bam there's a difference oh there are different crops uh, which you can plant in the fields every crop has its own set of characteristics okay and weather requirements boom just a reminder weather top left sunny and 16 degrees most likely Celsius and it is late spring both crops and villagers do not wait both crops and villagers don't grow in the cold season. That's what I was going to say. But the current season affects both crops and villagers. Crops do not grow in the cold season. Villagers don't grow, really. They age, I guess. But we're going to select on the field. Get back to it. This guy right here, it's like a little pull-down bar. Remember these things? Dang, it's like some old-school Excel right here. We're going to hit on potato, potato. Click on OK. Assign a field worker. And boom. Boom. Every plant needs water. A farmer will automatically carry water from this well and start seeding the field. If moisture is above the required level, the farmer will loosen the soil to dry it. So basically, the farmer is going to be doing his job getting it done. Plants can grow without water, but they will grow very slowly, and there's a chance that they might not be harvestable because, uh, you know, of course, they're not going to grow fast enough, and winter will come and kill them all. Many crops are yet to be discovered by villagers. Ooh, you can send out maritime explorers on expeditions from a port. Or groups of explorers will travel in search of new plants, orchard trees, animals, and new ways to get food. Oh, wow. Villagers can eat common plants as well. These plants can be collected by gatherers from bushes that grow mainly in forests. Let's build a gatherer's hut. Nice. First we have to have, first we have to flatten the area. That's what I was talking about. Terraforming. Let's raise or lower ground. Press the raise button. Select a 12 by 12 area. All right, 12 by 12 area. Let's find a good one. 
I'm gonna say, can we do it right here? 12 by 12 area. Now look at the time needed, right? So like if we went way up here, look at that, 16. They're gonna do it, but it's gonna take them a long time. So I like it at a one, right? That's what we want. But also notice this. I'm doing a 12 by 12 area, but only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 squares are actually flattening out. Keep that in mind. You have an entire border that's not flattening. So if you want a 12 by 12 to be flat, uh, make sure you're actually doing a larger area. For this 10 by 10, which is what we need, you have to select a 12 by 12 area. That's kind of the tricky, tricky deal. Anywho, left click. They're gonna get to work here. See, right click. Okay, wait until the constructors are done. Auto saving, we like that. They're gonna get to work, moving stuff away. And when I play my game, we're gonna keep it on a nice low times one, times two, get to know the characters a little bit more, kind of enjoy the growth of our village, not just burn through it. That's my style. But for the tutorial, I want to just touch base on everything and uh, not take an hour doing it. It did say a few minutes, so let's prove the tutorial right. You can see the progress here. We're almost done. I'm actually going to uh, take off a worker so we have one person unemployed here. Even though I should I should just let this get finished. All right, now let's build the gatherer's hut on the area we just terraformed. Click on the food again, gatherer's hut. It's a little picnic basket. Get our little yogi bear on and drop down the gatherer's hut. It's very nice. We've now covered the basics. You will find many more opportunities in game and learn about them from the tool tips. Just one more bit of advice to end on from the game. Keep an eye on your food and firewood balance. So here's your firewood, this little bundle up here. Here's your food, fish, meat, fruit, vegetables, eggs. I mean, there's bread, pies, fish pie, meat pie, pumpkin pie, I guess is in here somewhere. But don't let it deplete or your people will starve and freeze to death and it's all game over. So good luck, everybody. We will sing you out and I will bring the morning back. It looks like it's gonna be a stormy day in Tutorial City. I will catch you guys back up, I think, in, uh, what did we call it? What did we call it? Love City. Uh, Newcastle Port, I think, is what we're gonna play on. I might switch it over and play some of this Moonbright. Uh, that's the next uh, city that I've built up. Look at it, you can kinda get an image here. I already have an upgraded house, fishing port, almost looks like the tutorial town. It's basically how you want to get your start on. So follow this tutorial guide. It'll hopefully get you on the right track. As you can see with Newcastle Port, let's see if I can get a good view of it. It's kind of more inland here and has a nice look, but it was really mountainous. It's a more difficult start, but I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Moonbright had some big, uh, it had a woman die on childbirth and then two children died. So we're really, oh, excuse me. We're really kind of hurting on Moonbright as well. So things to do. Let me know what you'd like to see. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this helps you guys get kick-started and I will see you guys more in some Forest Village. Now, if you guys like this and it was helpful, even though the tutorial's in the game, but maybe this little YouTube style video helped you, make sure to Put that little thumbs up like button and uh, give me a subscribe. It always kind of helps to, you know, show off these games and and get a little bit more of that uh, going on and getting on. So uh, I just hope it hope it helps. That's all I'm going for. And uh, see you guys in the Monte Rico Gaming Elite Facebook group. We'll get our chat on, show some of the villages that you're all working on, and uh, share it in the album. We've got our game albums going on there and. Kind of chat about all the different games we're playing and show off screenshots and all that. So I'll see you guys on the Facebook or Twitter me at DMonteRico. Until next time, you guys keep on gaming and I'm going to keep on gaming. Monte Rico Gaming, roll those credits.
two people here, which is basically considering them the builders. It's going to explain it in a second, but let me pop this up here. This is the professions. And I'm thinking what they probably should do in the tutorial here, this is just a little hint, tip of me, is instead of, I get why they're saying click on the small house and add the builders just here, but I think they should jump to the bring up the professions tab and assign two builders here. See what that is? Uh, they're going to talk about it in a second, but just, you know, just so you understand that these builders are builders and they're not like forcing people to live here. I think it's almost assuming too much that we all know about Banish, so I'm trying to think of it in a clean way that I don't know. Uh, so, anywho, you can speed up times two, times five, times ten, really get this house moving along here. Look at it go. I'm going to keep it on times five just so we can enjoy it. You can really look in here, select the constructed house. Shows everybody who lives here, their age, what their profession is, good deal. Below we can find a list of all the resources that the villagers use to cope with hunger and get warm. So probably firewood and food and all that stuff. There are several types of houses in the game. Each of them have their unique characteristics. Number of dwellers, durability, and happiness bonus, which affects the workers' productivity. Little mini-map in the top right, very cool. Bottom left is our news screen, which we can filter. Different buttons there. Also, some buildings, it's talking about how we can upgrade them. So this small house here, we can click on this little upgrade button right here. Small house talks about what it's going to do. It's going to improve the living space, add extra bedrooms, higher pregnancy chance, and happiness and strength is going to go up. So, okay, let's do it. So you can see right now someone's homeless again because we kind of kicked them back out. They've got to get to work. Now they need more clay, hay, logs, ore, and stone. And then this is the building progress. So they're working on it. They're getting there. We got the clay. Here's our full resources. We're still doing good. We can gather resources kind of similar to other games like this where you can say collect just wood. You can click and drag. You can say go find me some stone. So there's a stone. You can say go find me some ore. That's the ore right here. It's a little hard to see at nighttime, but we'll zoom in. That's what I love about this game. You can really zoom in and get low. But let's wait for this house to get built. Let's go times 10. Let the night fly by. Very nice. Go times five again and enjoy it. Watch them get their construction on, get their build on. I'm going to even add a third person here. Because now it looks like we're going to have three people working on this house. And I like to hide the professions tab down here. There's no minimize. So I just put it down at the bottom. All nice, all good. All right, times two. It looks like the house is about to be finished. There we go. You can pause the game at any time. You no longer need builders, so now you can decrease the number. So now it's talking about bring up your professions tab. Uh, set the current number to zero using the interface buttons or the keyboard. So we're going to hit zero here. Try to do it this way. So I'm bringing it back. It seems like uh, by me opening the professions tab too soon, I have found a bug found a bug so I have to reload luckily it let me stop and pause the recording last time this happened it was doing the fishing and it's basic it's a crash there's nothing you can do uh, you can reload it uh, which I can do but I can't get out of this set the number to zero using the interface buttons problem is is now I can't drag this up since I've hit it down there so my tip of hiding the professions tab grr grr and since it's like locked on a tutorial stage it's not letting me uh, like reset or click on anything else. Ah, ah, kind of goofy, kind of goofy.